Good morning. Good morning. Um, it's the 27th, 27th, 22nd. Oh, wishing my life away. Uh, of October 2011. It's a sad day. It's 20 to 7 in the morning. And I'm back in the saddle. This is my first proper weather spoon since I came back from Parma. Still got the cold, still coughing like a trooper. Uh, need an immune, uh, immune system. So I'm off to the Ernest Willows. Um, and so far I've had a grand total of one festival layout and it's nearly over. However, I have got my camera vultures. So, and I need to get in practice. Because I'm off to Flanders next week. Culminator, Cafe Marion. There's Modal Olambic Cantillon Brewery. Ah, looking forward to it. Anyway, it's not particularly cold, although it's not warm, uh, and autumn is definitely here. But I said I've got quite an affinity for dark mornings, quiet mornings, and the day in tech history. Go over to Kickstarter, support the thing. I have. <laughs> Sorry. So, hello Margo, hello little prof. Really nice view coming down. is feeling better already. Oh no, tinsel in the window. Oh, 9.99 for the festival beers. That's my 50p off camera vultures. That could be like a plan. <laughs> We're listening to the weekly buzz of luck. You know. Just video in the beers. Sometimes you bonkers. So first of all, update on the Kindle situation. Um, got a certificate error in um, Starbucks. Whatever I did, I couldn't get on their Wi-Fi. Guess who provides the Wi-Fi? BT. Anyway, it's the cloud in here, which are Sky now, and I managed to get on the Wi-Fi. Download the International Herald Tribune. So, first one of the day, and I've already forgotten its name. But it's by Caledonian, and it's 4% alcohol by volume. And he looks it up, and it's autumn red. And it's got a lovely head. It's creamy, mmm, spicy, and nicely bitter. is a drinking beer and easily a B plus. Oh <laughs> I've forgotten the beer's name again. Um, but it's by Witchwood Brewery. Uh, and it's gingerbread. Is me gingerbread. Um, four point five percent alcohol by volume. Uh, looking it up now it is gingerbread, thank heavens for that. Um, hmm. 
I don't know. I should look in the book. But, yeah. Oh, that's gingery. That's very... Actually, that's not bad. Oh, that is ginger, bitter, nice. I'm going to give that an A-. minus. That is really good. And uh, I've got an episode of Twit to listen to next. And it's really old school. It's only on the International Herald Tribune. So I'm not sure how I would... Um, to the social media stuff on there, but we'll see. A minus, yeah. And this is number three, and it can by the two trends of 2011. One, um, lower level of alcohol by volume, it's four percent, and two, citrusy taste from the hops, of course. This is October Zest by Watchwood, and nice head, cold. Mm. Subtle taste. Um, not fruity, but you can just taste a slight touch of citrus in it. That's a B plus. Actually, I think that's more. Although it's quite heavy, I think that's more of a summer ale. Yeah, this has been a good day. Go on the International Herald Tribune. Me, my tech, and internet connection. Working well. See, this is number four. I'm still feeling pretty good. And I'm out of practice. This is all part of this low gravity alcohol by volume business. This is Commando by Copley, 4.2% alcohol by volume. Looks like lager, but nice head. Mm, medium. And surprisingly, that's quite citrusy as well. That's slightly enormous, that's a B. It's a nice B, but it's a B. This is a good day. Really good day. Alright, the iPhone's on charge. Okay, somewhat late. In fact, very late. And the weather was a good Lee, Mark and Pill. And which grass is going up the street? Thank you. Does this look nice? So this is the Malcolm Uphill, which isn't bad, uh, although it took me a while to get on the Wi-Fi. And the guy who sent me this uh, threw the receipt away, because uh, I'm really entitled to my receipt. Anyway, um, Burton, Burton Wood Brewery, not brown nail, not very brown. It's the best thing to do. Watch people. No, it's a different thing. It is different, isn't it? Best way. Ah, anyway, 4.8% alcohol by volume. Mm. Mm. So I'm going to leave it up. I'll give that a B. Maybe a B. 